Hi Gemini, this is your reading for soulmate. So we're going to have a look into the situation and see what is coming through. So I have the cards here and we are going to take a look for November of 2019. I hope you're doing well and if you're doing well, um, that is wonderful. I also want to mention if you'd like to win a free reading with me, information is down below. There is a giveaway that goes on every single month if you'd like to book a um, private paid reading information is also down below and also my intention bracelets are on Etsy as well so I also have the soulmate bracelet on there they are intention tie bracelets and they're made by me so this is what they look like so this is here is the soulmate one and it starts well all my bracelets are on my Etsy and they start from just three pounds with free international shipping so this here is the soulmate one and uh, yeah so do check those out if you're interesting uh, if you're interesting, if you're interested, and we are going to get started with this reading. So I'm just going to turn the brightness up so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, Gemini, what have we got going on? Ten of Pentacles. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. It's a pretty strong way to start a reading. I mean, we actually technically, the first card that I did see was the eight, but it's amazing how when cards come out, a lot of the time the mind just kind of wanders to cards of abundance. Okay. I mean, when it rains, it pours. And guess what? It's actually raining outside as well. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. There's definitely something here that I feel like between you and your soulmate, there is definitely a situation here where they are keeping their feelings to them. Because you see how this person's just sitting there, doing their own thing, minding their own kind of business, happy with their cups, but they, it's like they're withholding some kind of information and it's like their feelings, their cups are just growing. So I feel like it's linked to this moon card because both are water energy. The moon is about emotions and it's about feelings and it's about not, you know, it's, it's about hidden things essentially. So I feel like your soulmate is hiding their feelings from you. That's something that's coming through. But I also feel like, oh, we've got so many cards here. It's like, you know, what should I, should I take? Let's just do it in this order. Eight of Wands, right? Eight of Wands here is about progress. It is about feelings being expressed. I feel like they just, they need to get something off their chest and this is what it is. So I feel like they're going to tell you how they feel about you. I don't feel like they, they want to keep this inside of themselves anymore. I feel like they need to express it. They need to come forward. They need to get it off their chest. They need to feel like they can talk to you about things because it's definitely what's the phrase for this? It's mounting up, it's building up, should I say? And, you know, just they're looking out into the horizon, but they're still holding on to this wand. And this is you, they're still holding on to you. And they still have feelings towards you. So they might act like everything's fine. They're very happy in their life. Things are going great. You know how people do that, but actually deep down, they're feeling completely completely different. You know how sometimes we can get sad or upset, but we might not tell everyone and we just keep it to ourselves. It's it's that kind of feeling, but with you and also their emotions, they're keeping it within themselves. They're not really expressing the full extent of everything, which is something that's coming through quite um, strongly here. So they have very strong feelings, as we know, with the Ace of Swords and the Hierophant. They know this. It's not like they don't know. They know that they, they have these feelings. And in all honesty, I feel like in November, it's all coming to the surface to you. That's what I'm seeing. So, well, what I mean by that is that they're going to express their feelings to you. With the Ace of Swords, it's about clarity, them having this clarity, but also communication, them communicating this clarity to you, communicating their feelings to you, communicating how they feel, um, especially with this King of Cups. It really is about them knowing how they feel and then having that cup and wanting to express it to you. So it's like they go from this to this. And I'm not surprised because we do have the Mercury retrograde in November. And you know, when that happens, 
things come to the surface. They really do. I mean, look at the surface here, right? You've got a king of cups on a bed of rocky water, or, you know, waves, should I say. And you've got this, where they're kind of just been, I feel like, they've just been kind of keeping it to themselves. And then look at this. Look at this. They just can't hold back anymore. It's literally impossible to hold back. They can't do it anymore. This is an opening here. This shows stability within themselves. They also want a future. They want something for the long term. And they've realised this. They want something very, very strong, very, very stable. Okay, we've got the Queen of Wands. Four of Wands. Oh, chariot. Ten of Pentacles. I just want to get the last card out as well, so I'm just going to shuffle as I am. Queen of Wands, right? That Queen of Wands there is really showcasing so strongly that they have this real deep attraction towards you, find you physically very attractive. Now, whether you're male or female, what I do see is that it's about the energies in tarot, not the gender. So your soulmate is so attracted to you, cannot hold back, does not want to hold back. And they see you as this person that is just really, really attractive in the body and the mind. So not just the body, you know. They can see a future with you, especially when you have a king and a queen here. Also, four of wands, right? They can picture a future with you. They see something in the future for sure. Especially when this four of wands is here. It really does showcase stability, security, a bright future. The chariot here shows that they are going to progress towards you, right? They're going to come towards you. They're going to build up this four of wands. They see that in their future. This is something that I feel that they also want. And the chariot here is also showcasing very, very strongly this feeling of them wanting and almost needing to come forward, right? They cannot hold back anymore. So here they are coming forward. Here they are expressing things. Here they are progressing with you. It's also possible that in November you might take a little trip or something. Um, whether that's by yourself or with this person, it depends on your situation. But what I am seeing is we have that globe there. The chariot also represents travel as well. And with the Mercury retrograde, make sure you be careful. Just check before you travel all that good stuff, you know, because there can be delays and things like that. The retrograde goes crazy. So just uh, mentioning that. And also, the moon is ruled by Pisces. Neptune retrograde is ending um, towards the end of November. So what I would say is that, you know, this person, your soulmate, is awakening, is getting much stronger within themselves and their thoughts. See? They've kept a lot to themselves. They cannot hold back anymore. This Nine of Swords is a true indicator that it's almost like all their thoughts are just building up. They can't handle it by themselves anymore. They have to express it to you and do so with the Eight of Wands, especially, you know, all of their thoughts, all of their feelings just being expressed out. They see this with you. They see this Ten of Pentacles energy where they want to be with you. This is about union. It's about the stars aligning for the both of you. It's about coming together. It's about making things work, making things happen. And that's really what I am seeing. I mean, wow, 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 Gemini. I'm just going to take a sip of my um, water. My throat has been giving up on me today, so... A bit of hot water always helps, but um, yeah, they definitely can't hold back anymore and you can see that so clearly in this spread. They're coming forward, expressing their emotions and I really feel that they see a future with you and that is something that they cannot hide away from or shy away from because that just makes them feel even worse with this Nine of Swords. So Gemini, this is your reading, and if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already as well. And do check out the description box below for information on the private paid readings, the free reading giveaway, and my bracelets which are on Etsy. Thank you so much for all the love and support on my channel, it means so much to me. And I also do want to mention as well um, that... Dun, 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 I forgot. Oh yes. I hope you have a abs an absolutely lovely day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this, and take care, and I hope to see you for another video, if you click on another one of my videos, and um, bye Gemini!